All right, guys, so today I'm going to change my oil. It's got 6,000 miles on it, but the purpose of this video is not to show you the complete oil change. As you may know, I, in my previous video, I enlarged this hole a little bit. It came up about maybe a half an inch, so that when I'm looking at it from kind of the top of the wheel, I can see the top of the uh, filter housing, so that I can have a little bit better judgment when I'm coming up with it to... Uh, to stab it because that's always been a sore point with me not really knowing where I'm going with that filter and I don't want to knock dirt off and that sort of thing. So today we're going to find out whether or not that that I went up high enough for one thing and whether it helps me any. Uh, we're not going to go through the whole all change because you know I've got plenty of videos on that. So let's go ahead and get into this and remove that all filter. Hopefully it's cooled down enough where I can do it. Big hand in the way. But all I'm going to do here, and you've probably seen this in other videos, is I'm going to lower it down into this little tool that I designed and built called my third hand which I will put some links to it if you want to look at it and see how I built it and what it does, but you'll see that it's pretty handy. This is hot. This is hot. So there it is. It just fits right in there perfectly. You don't really have to have to try. It just falls right into place. I guess I'm going to have to put some hair on this thing. There we go. But see, so you can kind of see that this is pretty much a one-handed operation here, which is why I like to have something in the bottom. See, I don't have to worry about rags or anything. Unfortunately, my fingers are too big to go through the through the hole so I have to use a pair of pliers which is a little awkward but you push this in it helps oops just hit the camera it never fails whenever I'm trying to film something the postman's got to come by the People got to cut the yard. And that's it right there. So we'll take the cap off. Let's see if I can do it by hand. Well, I better be able to. Huh? So. And I'll put a little bit more oil on the O-ring. Okay, ready to go up. Hopefully the camera is showing the top of it like I hope. But my big arm will probably be in the way anyway, so what the hell. But let's go for it. Yeah, see, I can see it right there. It's perfect. So you probably couldn't see it, but I can. I just stabbed it, as you saw, with my big, my big hand. So let me just tighten it up now. That definitely helps. It's actually made it a lot easier. Now, Looks like I'm over tightening it, but I'm barely moving it, as you can see. 
I think that's got it. So in conclusion, yes, it absolutely helps to make that cutout right there. And there's no doubt about it. I was able to go right up in it. I'm looking at it right now. I'm stooping right about at the top of these beautiful Michelin tires. And I can see it just perfectly. I can actually see the top rim of the filter, which is nice. And I can, of course, see the housing. But it gives you a reference point to stab it. All right, guys, I realize that everybody doesn't like to do it this way, and that's fine. To each his own. But uh, I, uh, you know, that's, this is the method that I use. Now, it's not perfect. I'll go ahead and pull this out of here, see what that looks like. I'm tempted just to leave it in. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's out. It goes in there like this, front first. Just butts up against the AC unit and uh, these sit on top of the oil pan bolts. You can tell it's something's been rubbing on it. 6,000 miles. If I'd have known I was going to leave it in there that long, I'd have probably rounded these off and stuff, but it doesn't look like it, it's a problem. I may just leave it in there. And then this, this here, I just use it when I've got the filter on the ground just to have something to hold it upright. You know, when you get old, you're looking for all kind of little things to make it easier on you. So anyway, guys, that's the, that's the deal. It definitely helped to trim that access hole up a little bit, about a half inch. Helped a lot because now you can see where you're headed with that filter. I didn't have to bob around there and you know, take a chance on knocking dirt or whatever in it. So anyway, until next time, thank you. Adios.